Welcome back. Today in the sweatshop, we replaced this center dry shaft for a 2001 Honda CRV. The reason we replaced it is the U joint is no good. You can see that play there is something you don't want. Another thing you don't want is it to be extremely stiff like this. It should be able to flex back and forth like this. So this one's toast. Someone has serviced what is non-serviceable by Honda. Um, not saying you can't service them. It's just that this one's already been touched, so we're not going to be messing with it any further. We've decided to get a good used one, and we're going to throw that in. As for this one, it's going to scrap metal heaven. These are the tools you're going to need to complete the job. 14 mil socket, 12 mil socket, 10 inch extension, 3 8 ratchet, the extendable kind is awesome because you can do that. We've got a pry bar that will be used to stop the dry shafts from rotating as you reef on the bolts to break them loose with this. 10 millimeter 12 point ratchet wrench. The hammer is so you can bang the socket onto the rusty bolts. When you take your bolts out, they may look like this. You don't want them to look like that when you put them back. You should clean them up with a wire wheel, get rid of all that crud, maybe put some anti seize on them or a little bit of oil just to keep them from rotting. Anti-seize is preferable if you don't have it, oil's fine. They should look like this, nice and shiny. That's the way you want them to look when you put them back in so you can thread them in by hand and you don't have as much of a headache. There are your 10 mil fasteners that hold your dry shaft to the back of the transmission. You need that 12 millimeter socket for this 12, meter, 12 millimeter bolt here. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell that it's a bolt, it just looks like one clump of rust, but it is actual, actually a bolt. Uh, I didn't end up taking out the second one, I just took this one out here and then I took out the hanger bearing. You'll need the 14 mil socket for that. Just spray it with a bit of uh, lubricant if it feels like it's extra stiff. Uh, you definitely don't want to break those bolts off because if you do, you'll be having a really bad day. Back here is the rest of the fasteners that you need to remove in order to get the dry shaft out. Once you take these ones out, just pull it through, missing that, and that's pretty much it. You can do this in the driveway, it's not extremely hard. If you have any sort of mechanical skill, I think you'll do fine doing it. Just be safe, make sure you put it up on jack stands and the thing can't roll anywhere. Good luck out there and hopefully this helps somebody. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.